Your love is amazing, steady and unchanging. Your love is a mountain, firm beneath my feet. Your love is a mystery, how you gently lift me. When I am surrounded, your love carries me. So tell me a little bit about Youth at Region. It's a wonderful place where you get to do a lot of activities and there's multiple floors and you get your own rooms. Youth at Region was so much fun. Um, we sang so many songs and did a lot of like fun interactive activities and um, we played like games outside and we did sit in on some of like the big meetings that the people were having but we weren't there for the entire time because that would be really boring. Uh, it was fun. I liked it. Um, it was awesome to learn new things and to experience uh, what it's like to go to one of these events. And it's really fun there. You get to tie-dye. Like, this is one of the things we did while we were in our large group um we did like origami and we did like beads and we went for like walks or there was an option to go for walks and stuff um, what was your favorite activity prayer beads prayer beads and you made some for me yeah i did thank you very much uh probably making new friends what was your favorite activity my i mean we did when we were doing prayer groups we made some bracelets um, and we played like Taylor Swift songs and stuff, so that was like super awesome. Um, but we also had like large group, which was both of the groups um, come together and we sang songs and we like hung out and we had like a karaoke party on the last night. That was pretty awesome. And what did you learn? I learned a lot of things. And pray praying is not in one form, you can do this like this. There's also many, many other ways like art, prayer beads. Those are also acts of praying and like creativity. I learned like from the actual, like when we were in the meetings, um, a lot about discipleship and how to be unapologetically Christian. Oh. Which was Michael Blair, I think, that guy who was talking. A lot. <laughs> I learned uh, about like, we talked about crossroads a lot. Did you make any friends and who were they? I did. Um, so there's this girl named Hope. Uh, my friend Hope. Uh, did you make any friends? Yes. And Emily. Uh, Sophie and Patrick. Sophie. Who were they? Uh, I made friends, uh, Sophie. There's two Sophies. Um, I also met Melody, Lily, Julianne. And then I got closer with Abby. Like we didn't talk much and we really kind of like bonded over the weekend. And then Ava. Uh, and I think his name was Patrick. <laughs> and I can't remember all their names, but that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Are you planning on going back next year? Yeah. Uh, do you think you'll go back to Region? Yes. <laughs> I wish they did it twice a year. Will you go back? Yes. And what would you tell someone who is thinking about going back, going next year? That is awesome, and they would have an amazing time. What would you tell someone who is thinking of going next year? Well, definitely be you from the start. Because if you're not, then there's just that little awkward phase. But if you're just you and open from the very... Nobody's actually going to judge you. It may seem like that, but they're not. What would you tell somebody if they were thinking about going next year? You should go. <laughs> they actually give you ice cream. On behalf of Victoria, Keely, and I, we want to thank the UCW and Youth at Region for sponsoring and making it possible for us to go to this year's event. We had a great time. 
We also want to thank Pamela and Jack for driving us there and back and everyone else who made it possible for us to attend. Thank you. You make me